I'm Kelly O'Donnell from City TV and I'm being put through my paces at City Women's pre-season training camp in Abu Dhabi. I've already faced my biggest fear thanks to three of the best goalkeepers in the Women's Super League. It's the one that I was dreading the most but I absolutely loved it. This week is a completely different story as I'm trying my hand at one of the most unforgiving, hard-working positions on the pitch, becoming one of City Women's defensive back four. This is how to be a footballer. Dedication, without doubt, is key to becoming a professional player. Whilst I'm with the team, I'm expected to follow their rules, and that means training like them too. Strength and conditioning coach El Turner has given me my very own training routine in a bid to improve my overall fitness. Back to the bulwark though and leading my defensive session is former Blackburn and Wigan player Alan Mahan. Lining up alongside me, Abby McManus, Zoe Tynan and Republic of Ireland international Megan Campbell. How do, how do you describe defending? It's the job that no one wants to do really. So, what kind of qualities will I need to show? Powerful, strong, we might struggle with that one. You just need to be able to read the game that's in front of you. Obviously being at the back you'll be able to see everything. Loads of talking, shouting, but most important of all you probably need to listen as well. There's little things you don't even think about when you watch it, about the formation and how the back line is actually structured and how they all have to work as one. Defending is probably the hardest, the hardest uh, art out of all, of all the football. Defenders have to be rigid, they have to be structured and they have to be, uh, they have to be honest. I'm not going to give you any information, I'm going <laughs> to set you up just to show you that it's not just mindless kind of girls running around. There's an organised structure to what we do. There's four columns, an orange, yellow, white and blue. All this yellow colour and they're going to act accordingly. Okay, so I just wanted to see what you would do naturally. Let me explain what exactly is going on here. I'm the centre back and I'm trying to fit into what is called the arc. As you can see from this graphic, this is how it looks in a real game scenario. When a player moves towards the ball, the others move in sync, all keeping the defensive structure intact. White. Orange. One person isn't there, leaves a gap to let another player through. Um, yeah, and they really work for each other. Yellow. I kind of get the basic principles of where you're supposed to be and why. Did you have any idea what you were doing? No, no. Kel, do you want the, another rule of being a defender? Yep. Hair up, love. Hair up's got to be. Classic, classic error. So, having already broken Abby's first rule of thumb, I was secretly hoping I could redeem myself in our first proper drill. The 1v1 is a fine art. Get it right and you buy your teammates time. Get it wrong and it could prove costly. It's not about, I'm going to get the ball, I'm going to win it. Your object is, because you could be the last defender, you're saying to yourself, I have to slow her up to help get my mates back in behind me so they protect me. If you go charging out and try to win the ball, you get picked off. Go out, slow down and think about keeping her away. Keeping her away from this net. I went to square on. <laughs> but when you come out, get low to the ground, plenty of moving them feet. You're not going in to try and win the ball, are you? No, just, literally. Just, just delay them, just stop them. Yeah. Take them, take their speed off them and slow them down. Okay. Good defending. Yes, girl. Good. <laughs> My session almost done, it was time to go back to the arc and see whether I could really slot into Steph Horton's position. Alan's hit me with some vital info and all the pointing, hand waving and shouting was beginning to make sense. If you look at it right, so from Zoe, into you, into Abby, into Megan. It's all about structure and discipline. So when it goes out there, you come across here, you get the arc. As that ball comes in here, you come in here, watch what Abby does, look at Zoe does. They're protecting you. She yawned in the session. Can't, can't switch off. Good girl, Megan. Ready? Get round, Kel, get round, Kel, come on, Kel. Show her outside, show her outside, show her outside. I thought she would have been a little bit better than she was, but I think after she listened to Marnie and she understood the drill, she, she ended up doing quite well at the end. Defended well when she needed to, and, and she covered uh, Abby and, and Zoe when she needed to as well. Get around, get around, get around. 
Show out, show out. Good. Perfect. You had a little look over your shoulder and see where your mates were. Perfect. Go on, Kel, go on, Kel. Go on, Kel, smash his ass in. Good girl. And go I ended the afternoon with a sense of success, but trying to keep up with elite athletes had started to take its toll. Aches and pains are something that players learn to live with on a daily basis. For me though, pushing myself in the gym and out on the field in the midday sun had left my body in shock. When you go from just being at the gym three times a week to training three times a day, um, and at the level that they train as well, it's quite a big jump. Severely dehydrated and unused to the high intensity exercise, that night I experienced a real low in the camp. That is hanging. <laughs> so my body just feels like it's in complete breakdown. I've turned my heating right up, but I'm freezing, can't stop shivering. Works lots of muscles that I, I didn't even know I had and in quite a bit of pain. And doesn't really seem to be any relief at the minute, so bit miserable, bit miserable at the moment. Next time on How to Be a Footballer. Get your seat bag ready. Come on, fast, 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 fast. Bye, foot. I'm just really struggling getting it close to that mannequin because I don't have any like technical abilities. Come on, all right. I'm really out of breath. Okay, this is just the like warm up.